Hello guys, uh, it is Itumi Leng Sesa speaking here. Uh, today we are going to determine uh, the limits. I'm going to show you how to determine limits. Uh, we will use some tricks uh, such as factorization, uh, you know, long division and stuff depending on the problem that we are, we are, we are facing. So I'm going to do uh, this three problems with you right so uh <laughs> right how 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 why why do we uh, have to do limits if you can check uh if you do a direct substitution uh, if i substitute this minus three here i'm going to have minus three plus three over um, 9 plus uh, 9 minus 12 plus 3 which is 0 right so I'm going to have division by 0 I will have 0 divided by 0 so that is not defined it does not tell us anything right so we have to reduce that by means of uh, algebra so yeah that's what we're going to be doing ok now let's do Let's do the first one. Let's do uh, our first problem. Okay. Let's do the first one, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, number one. If they've given us uh, the limit of x plus 3 over x squared plus 4x plus 3, right? As x approaches negative 3, okay? So now, uh, what, what must I do here? Okay, uh, if you want to try it, you can pause the video and then uh, try to, to do it and then watch and see how we go to the answer and check if your answer is correct so now okay uh, I know that if I substitute this minus 3 uh, into x I'm going to get a division of 0 and we'll have 0 over 0 which is not defined so what must I do okay now let me write again this okay at the top i have x plus 3 note this because we want to uh, solve this problem that we have you must know that it's possible that this value here on the denominator will have a factor that is x plus 3 so that that factor will cancel with the one on the numerator and we will have something that is a simpler fraction okay so now if we check the one th uh, in, on, on the bottom it's x squared plus 4x plus 3 okay we can factorize this right this it factorizes to be x plus 3 into x plus 1 right uh, I'm I, I, I am sure you know you guys know how to factorize right that is a, a preschool mathematics so now here you can tell that oh x plus 3 we have x plus 3 here so you can tell that now this is going to cancel with this right how much are we going to have we're going to have 1 over x plus 1 so now the limit we can substitute this minus 3 in here you are going to have something that is defined okay so now when you substitute you no longer write the limit of this thing of this function as x approaches this value no you just write the, uh, the answer or you just or you just substitute first so i'm going to substitute one over minus three plus one okay so minus three plus one is minus two so my final answer is minus one over two that is my answer 
okay so now this was number one right what about number two what was number two saying okay number two it was saying that um okay there it is okay let's write it here a limit of x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x cubed minus 2x squared plus x as x approaches 1 So now here, what can we do? If you can check the above, uh, 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 the above expression, can we factorize this expression? Can we factorize it? Uh, here we can, yes, we can factorize it. We can factorize it. We can factorize it into what? Into x plus uh, x minus 1 x minus 1 okay but before we do that let's do this x squared minus 2x plus 1 over here we have a common factor we have x here we have x and here we have x so we can take out x as a common factor here i have x squared here i have a, a minus 2x here i have 1 now okay so now no, notice that this thing is equal to this one right so they will cancel out i don't have to factorize it uh, any further now so now i have this i have one over x right i have one over x so one over x I have uh, 1 over 1, which is 1, right? Simple stuff, guys. Simple stuff. So this one is just the basics. I will go to the one that is uh, challenging. This one is not challenging. Okay.